What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. Get things started. Let's do this skit. Say, what do you think about Aizen? Oh, so that's the kind of guy you're into, hmm? Huh. Not what I'd expect, but... No! I just feel there's something different about him. The way he picks presents, the objects that catch his eye. Oh, is that all? Boring. No kidding. All men have some kind of particular interest, big or small. I suppose that's true, but he seems a bit... shall we say, overly obsessive? Now that you mention it, he does have a tendency to ramble on about various topics. And it's not just the items he collects. There's more to it? Every weekend, he eats curry for dinner, and every time we go into port, he docks at the third bollard. Come to think of it, I heard the galley crew complaining that he always needs his pasta cooked exactly the right way. And when he needs a new outfit, he always goes to the same tailor and returns with identical clothes and boots. It all has to be exactly the same size and in exactly the same color. Turtle says he's very nitpicky. Sounds like he's not so much picky as he is a pain in the ass. But I do see a different side of him now. I thought pirates were all rough and filthy, but it seems they can be quite meticulous. Not much of a reassessment. Oh my god, another one. <sighs> it must not feel great only ever getting tails, I bet. Nah, I don't really mind that much. It's way too late for me to start letting that bother me. Yeah, but wouldn't it be nice to get heads at least once? Hell, I know I'd like to see that, and I bet Laffy said here does too. Yeah, I do. Right? That's why I've brought something a little special. Ta-da! What's so special about that coin? It looks identical to the one Eisen already has. The front side does, yes, but... Both sides of the coin are actually heads. I had Kurogane make it for me custom. If both sides are heads, then not even the Reaper's curse can stop it. Well, yeah, but that's cheating. What's the point in getting heads if it's rigged that way? It's not cheating. It's called effort and hard work. How? If you always work hard and never give up, you'll make your own way forward. All right, I'm in. I'll get that heads for you. Which turns into a reaper somehow. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Did a bird just steal it? That crow just flew off with the coin! Wow. Those birds are attracted to shiny objects, I suppose. Damn it! I can't even win against a crow! Don't sweat it! I figured something like this might happen, so I had a backup ready. Go on, give it a shot. You'll show that curse who's boss this time. All right. Here goes. I don't believe it! Now Prince Percival's griffin's gone and eaten the other coin right out of the air! Are you kidding me? Not to worry. I've got a spare backup. It's time to put that curse on notice. Right. Here I go. You gotta be kidding me. Reaper's curse or not, does it really have to go this far over a damn coin? It's fine, really. I had a feeling it'd turn out like this. Well, I sure didn't. Yeah, me neither. I mean, you could totally win some serious bets just doing that. Like, go to the dock and be like... trying to go investigate the earth point and again okay that just salt I think, I think this is mid yeah trading port located to make imagine just like like showing up at dock and being like we'll flip if it's tails I dock for free heads, I'll pay double the docking cost. Or triple the docking cost. And then you just always win. That's what he's gotta be doing. Use that curse to his advantage. Hmm? 
The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains, to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. I guess we know where we're going. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. There you'll find one of ours who actually saw the demon. You want to know more? That'd be a good place to start. Got it. Hey, that's the same direction I sensed the... Give Tabitha our thanks. Looking more and more like we're on the right track. We ought to go check out that Bloodwing story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Aizen, did I say something wrong back there? No. I just didn't think we needed to give the Bloodwings any information for free. Huh? He means the Earth Pulse points, kid. We're the only ones who know about them. But aren't we on the same side as the Bloodwings? We're not enemies with them. But I wouldn't go so far as to call them our friends either. That's just how it goes in the underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat. A poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. He was here waiting for us, even though we hadn't told anyone where we were going. You're right! We hardly know the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. But the more tricks we can keep up our sleeve, the better. We've got each other's back, but only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the Underworld. That sounds terrible, but at least you can trust that Tabitha's cooking will be tasty. <laughs> Can't argue that. Ready to go? Ready to go? Yes, we are. God damn it. Another skit. Not doing it. Refuse. More importantly, I have gone ahead and uh, swapped up some things with the party. Thank you. There we go. Um, reworked. Well, not the party, but I basically went through and redid the arts for Eleanor. Um, Rokuro and Aizen. So, officially have a new subset of arts available. But I, uh, that doesn't sound right. Basically, I know, like, I have, I have reworked my buttons. Where am I supposed to go? Southern Dan and Highway? Wait, is this where I'm at? Southern Dan and Highway. Yeah, I gotta go to the southern. Um, basically, the combos make sense, is what I'm trying to say. I can fight too! Done. Burning 
Nash. And ring. Sure I didn't overlook any accidentally. Good. I gotta do some enhancements now that I got a bonus to do that's enhanced. Time to dish up. Thank you. I don't really like that X combo though. There's a swing to the left, whirling top, sweeps out, ripping up the ground, and then. Rending strike doesn't make sense right here. I need something that's gonna shoot back to the left. Uh, Vanguard double rush troubleshoot. Steps to the right, that would make sense. Okay. Damn, Velvet, calm down. We're finished here. Let I'm gonna be rotating out uh, basically who I do combat with I'm ready for, this. for a bit. All of them. For now, at least, I'm gonna work on Eleanor. And then uh, the next episode, maybe Rogue Row. See how my combo works now. That works well. What is her? How do I do her combo? Her, or not her combo, her uh, kill move. Launches enemy high into the air. During aerial strike. Leap up after launch for deliver sprint. After. Okay, it's pretty badass. It looks like no one is injured. I'm gonna find a uh, turtles, or at least swing in town. And some of my gear. See if there's anything better I can pick up as well. So I took it. I took the wrong exit out. It seems. But I didn't have this yet, so. Oh. 
like that A combo. It's like hyper aggressive, and then she does the AOE with the ice and then pulls up the rock wall. Alright, so we're gonna run into Logos real fast. Uh, just so I can. Well, you know what? I don't know. I wanna go enhance. Yeah, probably. More importantly, there might be new items I can pick up. Since I got a lot of items that are up to master at this point. I can always teleport right back out there. Gotta say, considering I removed the Therian, it's, uh, it's looking pretty chillax around here. Figured it would be kind of a shit show with the Therian gone, but... stat differences from it. Just a hundred extra in her magic. It's expensive as fuck. Right. And let's do some enhancement here. So this is going to be focusing on this for a while. Seven. Enhance those. Those are the plus three. Oh, no silver scraps. Why do I have you on 
the shit one. This one has more stamina. So all of our gear has been pimped out a little bit. Uh, Opus entrance. And we're ready to go. It's hard to tell how much I'm really doing. It's like with Velvet, I can very, very easily see, like, oh, I'm fucking up everything. handle on them in a way that feels right. That's good. Hopefully you won't faint anymore. Yeah, and I'll keep learning too. I hope we can make this work out. Yeah, definitely. Fingers crossed. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, jealous. Hey! When you and Eleanor made your pact together, she gave you a true name, right? Was it a good one? Uh... True name? What's that? It's a special name in the ancient tongue given to a Moloch as a necessary step in forming a pact with a human. I gave Bienfu the name Fushi Cass. It means thing. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. It's just my own little way of showing affection. So what kind of name did you get, Lafayette? I... Uh... What's the matter? She didn't give you a really weird name like Mogulu gave Bien Food, did she? If you're not happy with it, I can talk to Eleanor about it later. So go on and tell me- I'm fine with it! And I can't tell you anyway! Well, you don't have to get so worked up about it. A true name is not something a Moloch just casually divulges to others. They carry a special meaning to us. Speaking it to anyone other than our Pact Keeper carries a special meaning. Between comrades, it means we trust them with our lives. In other cases, it's... Practically a confession of love! You could have said something sooner, you know. Lafayette sets at a delicate age. You should be more careful in the future. Oh, really? It's just another way of showing affection. Jack of this outfit? <laughs> Looks retarded. Run around in the server for this. So you know what? Let's go get these fucking chests.
Apple gel. No, you know what? Never mind. We're not going to get these chests. I'm going to get apple gels out of them. I think the other one's just right down. Ah, oh, fuck it. Just do it. Just do it. Get it done. I'll bother you every time you come back to this damn zone otherwise. Plain paper. Oh, boy. You didn't master it. I didn't get that shit mastered right now. Woo! It's a big one! Oh, this is nice. Wow, since I found a deadlier foe. Peach Joe on your oh shit, she can't use it because she's there last. Just think we too fire. Fucking mastery. Alright. On to the chalkboard. Hold up, up chalkboard. I guess we did. Huh. Cute cue. Cute shift. Steps. Weather bag. Amphibial bag. Put you back with this. Those on. Aqua ring. Flame ward. Uh, obviously still on the good flame ward. Let's put you on poison ward. Last time I fought a dire foe, it was no joke, but this time, it uh, kind of easy. good to do this because if nothing else if I get in a situation where I have to use them I'll at least know like you know what 
what kind of combo potential the characters have. Now I should be playing them. to know about it's flying free but could it still be a therian i just felt an earth pulse point it's that way somewhere near the top of that mountain let's check it out dragon's nest or something anyway new zone new hunt to do We're gonna wrap things up here so oh, no, go away butterfly thing oh mr v you're in the way Spell that has no chill. So, as I said, wrapping things up here. Uh, see you then. Uh, but we're going to be checking out this area and possibly finding another theory in the next episode. So, stay tuned and we will catch you guys then.